field in an action for the first time since his controversial disqualification in Los Angeles that turned a sure gold medal into a bronze. Pernell Whitaker, the Olympic gold medalist and world champion at 132 pounds, will seek his first professional win tonight after an amateur career that resulted in more than 200 victories. Terrell Biggs also won the gold in L.A. and the 6'5 inch Philadelphian will take the first step on a road he dreams will culminate someday with a heavyweight championship of the world. And Mark Freeland, already better known as an amateur than most of the world's pros, will be in the ring making his professional debut before a full house in his hometown. And Mark Freeland's hometown is this town. As you look at a live shot, the Empire State Building, New York City, lit up in the colors of the Thanksgiving season. And as we pull back down 34th Street, from 5th Avenue to 34th between 7th and 8th, the most famous boxing arena in all the world. A live shot of Madison Square Garden, which should be filled tonight and filled with people who got their tickets for free. It was Mark Freeland's idea to let everybody in for free. They had 80,000 requests for 20,000 seats. All the tickets given away tonight. And this ABC Sports exclusive is being brought to you by Budweiser. For his exit from Madison Square Garden from the surface and back to his dressing room as we await the entrance of an Olympic gold medalist and a man who might be the most skilled of the Olympians as Pernell Whitaker will be next up. And he'll be taking on Baron Como, who is an undefeated young Texan. Pernell Whitaker, a lot of people feel, will be the first of the gold medalists to become a world champion. They think he is that skilled as he makes his way into the ring at Madison Square Garden. And yesterday, on the eve of his professional debut, I talked with Pernell Whitaker of Norfolk, Virginia, about his pro debut. That's not a lot of pressure, because I still think about it. It's, this fight is something like a, the finals of the Olympics. You know, was, all the people were there chatting, USA, and in the garden, is, everybody's going to be there cheering us on, and, and it's going to be close to 22,000 people there cheering saying my name and, or, you know, cheering for me. So that's going to make me fight a little harder and, you know, perform a little better. Arnold Whitaker, the strange of the Olympic victory celebrations echoing in the background. As he makes his way into the ring, it's called a Knight of Gold. That's how it's been built. And the challengers, the fellas who haven't gotten very much publicity because they have been thrust into the ring against the Olympic champions have labeled themselves the gold busters. Well, so far, none of the challengers has been a gold buster as Virgil Hill scored a second round win. Mildred Taylor came out and scored a first round technical knockout. And we just saw Evander Holyfield go the distance, go six rounds. And he, too, has won in his pro debut. So you have Whitaker, Biggs, and Mark Breland still to come. Ed Durian, the ring announcer, is introducing the combatants. Pernell Whitaker. And there is Baron Como, who is 24 years old. He will be 24 next week. He comes from the town of Nederland, Texas, which is near Beaumont. He has been a pro now since 1982. He has a record of 10 and 0, yet he has really not fought a class opponent to this point. He's been basically a club fighter. All of his fights have been in the Houston, Beaumont area. Tail of the tape, as you can see. Como 24 next week. Whitaker weighed in at 134 and a half today. Height about the same and a distinct reach advantage for Pernell Whitaker. Southpaw, who can counterpunch, who can lead. He is a good defensive fighter, very, very stylish, and in boxing parlance, some have referred to him as a beauty. Crowd cheering the introduction of Colonel Pete Whitaker. 
born, raised, and still makes his home. Punches up. In Norfolk, Virginia. Knocked down to one round to terminate the fight. And you know the buff I said you could step for the last round. When I say break, I want you both to step back and break clean. Is that clearly understood? They can't sound, God bless you both. Voice of referee Joe Santarpia. He has no voice in the scoring. Again, to review, the three judges at ringside, Harold Letterman, Tony Castellano, and Bernie Friedkin, do the scoring. Scoring by round here in New York. And again tonight, as Chris pointed out in the Holyfield fight, they're working with a thumbless glove. Pernell Whitaker and Perrin Como. Como with a chance to establish himself. It's one thing to keep in mind on a night when the Olympians are trying to make impressive debuts. The opponents, basically club fighters for the most part, in the spotlight for the first time ever, and what it could do for their career to pull off an upset. Madison Square Garden in New York. Scheduled for six rounds. Good left hand landing, but Como responds right, by moving Whitaker up, huh? into the corner. Whitaker was never really challenged during the Olympic Games. Had clear sailing on his way to the title. normally trade punches with you. So he can, as we say, counter punch. Very, very quick. Good lateral and backward movements. Escaping the thrust of Como. And Whitaker extremely poised. It's in evidence early here in the first round. Little combination and a good body punch. Missing with the left there with that little right hand. Got inside. Almost face. Beginning to red just a bit here in the first round. By uh, Whitaker. Como taking punishment. Another left. A good left. Whitaker trying to work underneath. Whitaker with a good right hand to the side of Como's head. Stopped by another left. Como somehow withstanding the pressure and staying right in there with him with a minute to go now in the first round. One minute remaining. And then, uh, a lot of punishment being dealt out by Whitaker. Como trying to counter, but it's all Whitaker at this point. Como completely on the flag. At this point. A lot of good trying to weather the round, and that may be no easy task. That flicking right by Whitaker. A good boxing lesson by Purnell as he gave during most of the Olympics to all of his opponents. 25 seconds remaining now in round one. The only mystery in this round is can Como last it? Whitaker working up top and going to the body. Under 10 seconds again. You can't be saved by the bell except for the final round. Three seconds remaining in the first round. And Como still in it. If the first round is any indication, this one's not going to last very much longer as we start the second round. Whitaker hardly missing a punch in round one. Extremely impressive in his professional debut. Similar first round to that experience by Meldrick Taylor, who early on won on a first round TKO. Again, Como has to withstand an early barrage here from Whitaker. Another left hand. Not too many wraps against Whitaker coming in as he makes the transition from amateur to pro. Some think that he maybe showboated a little bit too much in his amateur career, had a tendency occasionally to turn his back on his opponent. Some question as to whether he can withstand a good punch something that's hard off time to detect throughout an amateur career but we've seen no showboating no back turning tonight and Como has been able to really not unload anything at all that Whitaker's had to withstand it's been all for now a little slower pace now here in the early stages of the second round scheduled for six again the left hand is inside Oh, 
almost. He's very keen. But unable to mount any attack at all. You'll notice Como seems to be doing a pretty decent job of holding his hands up and protecting himself, but that doesn't deter Whitaker. He just goes right in there, Como not moving his head, and Whitaker's been able to get through that defense. Under a minute remaining now in the second round. remaining now in the second round. Polo really staggered. Takes another left hand. This may do it, and that will do it. The referee, Joe Santarpia, ends it in the second round, unofficially, at the 250 mark. Very keen was Polo, but that's all, as it's all Whitaker from the opening bell. Whitaker, some echoes of Los Angeles as some of the crowd begins to chant USA, USA. A little slow-mo action. You can go back and pretty much re-rack the tape to any point in this fight to get a very good idea as to the damage that Whitaker inflicted. The left was particularly adept in round one. The combinations in round two, he kept penetrating the defense. Never any question from the opening bell. Another slow-mo look as Pernell Whitaker, who I say is expected by so many if you look at the left, to become the first of the Olympians and another staggering left right there in round two. The first of the Olympians to win a professional boxing title has done nothing to dissuade those thoughts tonight. Suzette Charles is Miss America. She is looking on amongst those in a crowd of about 20,000 at Madison Square Garden, and they have watched all four Olympic medalists make impressive debuts. Pernell Whitaker, a second round TKO at Madison Square Garden in New York. We'll be back. That's a live shot. The Twin Towers of the World Trade Center, Lower Manhattan, on a clear and crisp Manhattan night. Pull back along 8th Avenue. And coming into focus will be Madison Square Garden, where we are tonight, Penn Station, capacity crowd, and four Olympic.